Okay, YouTube got another video on updating the mini rocket stove from video two. This is the inexpensive fifteen dollars. Now I'm going to add some different, some other pipes to it that you can buy at the your local hardware stores. Pretty easy. I wanted to make it easy, but I have to say, be careful of carbon monoxide. It's just pretty much common sense, but sometimes people don't know any better so I have to say use it in well ventilated areas I found this elect in the electrical aisle it's kind of an offset and I'm going to use this for the it's a two inch it fits right in I'm going to replace it replace this straight pipe with this offset pipe so it'll be the wood will feed in there a little easier but We'll do that. Okay, put that on. That's what that looks like now. Looks like it might work a little better. If it, it, again, if anyone has any other suggestions or wants to play around with this to figure out a better way, I'm just goofing off, experimenting. Next, we have the base that I use for the base, and it's just a inch and a half floor flange that's in the pipe aisles and this plug that, go, that goes in here and then this fits right on top just like that that's how that goes together if you're goofing around and buying this tee at the hardware store make sure this bottom flange is the right size and fits in there. It should be kind of snug. There was I found a couple that didn't fit very well, so you might have to look or try a few different ones. Okay, there it is now with the base on. Before I put the base on, I bought this threaded two-inch nipple, and I'm going to put that on to extend that so I can get. A little more wood down inside there. I bought this nipple and then I bought another just a straight pipe to go onto that. So this then this will be the ba the new base like just like that. So what I wanted to do is try some of these these go on a pellet stove and it's only forty dollars for a whole forty pound or four dollars I'm sorry for a 40 pound bag four bucks it's quite a bit so I wanted to see if it'll work I don't know if it'll work but I'm gonna try it so we got the I got the the nipple threaded nipple screwed in both sides and the straight pipe we have the new offset piece that's in the electrical department and we have the base, and this will sit right on top of there. Just like that. Looks like it'll work. And then I have another top flange. It's a two inch. I'm going to put that on top. Makes it a lot easier. That screws on top like that. Makes it a lot easier to set a pan. You, you want to have a piece of expanded metal on top of this so the air can flow through. But there it is. There's looking inside. As you can see now we'll have a good... Oh, the base is the inside slug is right about there. So we're going to have a good two or three inches more. And I'll fill that up with those wood pellets to see if it works and we can get a little more wood down in there and I think this will work a little better too this offset piece right right there okay it's warmed up a bit five degrees but here's the new updated one got a thing I would had a wood pellets right here and they they do feed in there a lot easier than 
in this setup. I mean, you just put them in, they go right down into the base there. So it seems like it's a lot better already. And the wood goes in there a lot better because it kind of goes on an angle. The shim, the wood shims. Okay, I'm gonna light her up. Okay, we got it running. I got the bottom filled up with some of these wood pellets. I don't know what it's doing, but I took a measurement inside this tube here that was hitting like 600 degrees. 600 and Let's see if I can get it. Six sixty. So I might try the snow and the pan trick again, see if that works. I mean outside here on the tube we're hitting if I can hold it steady. Hey, let me try the snow in the pan. Okay, we got the snow in the pan. We'll put her on. It's been about a minute, two minutes, and all the snow's down. That black smoke's from the white paint that was on the pan. I don't know, I don't know if the pellets do anything, but it seems like these shims work the best and just feed them in slowly. Keeps a good flame going. It's been about four minutes. Looks like it might be starting to bubble just a little, but I want to do some temperature readings. You know, four to five hundred degrees. Seems like I'm burning a lot slower though with the with this new setup. The shims are burning a little slower. Not going through as many. I don't know if you can see it, but it is starting to boil. It's bubbling just a little bit. I think if I put a piece of tin foil on, it'd boil a lot quicker. But it's been about at least 15 minutes. There's no breeze at all today. If I blow on it, it gets a lot, it'll get a lot warmer. But okay, I put a piece of tin foil and it started boiling up right away. It was just all the heat was escaping, but I'll show you. It's boiling good now. Just need to put something over top. As soon as I took it off, it quit boiling. But there it is. Thanks for watching. If anyone has any other ideas, let me know. But there it is. Works. This is a lot, a little more expensive, but a little easier to work with. Thanks, YouTube.